I have no words, y'all. I, I I just don't, man. I have not been this speeches since I don't know what Zero's finale and what a finale that was. But oh my god, y'all! I, I I just can't wait for the next season. I need this to be. I need April to come, y'all. See, I'm so speeches. I'm stuttering, even though I do stutter every freaking time I try to do a first take shit. But it was just absolutely what a finale this was. So summarize, summarize, basically freaking. Emir Shiro basically is not a master anymore. He used all of his command seals and basically freaking cast her as Saber now because of her freaking normal phantasm, which is rule breaker. She's able to basically nullify all magic type attacks or whatever the hell rule breaker does. We got to see her normal phantasm as well. And oh my god, your caster is on that mega plot in time mindset right now. It just. Oh um, when I saw a freaking caster, not caster, when I saw a freaking Saber cry, I was just done, you I felt, it just hit me right in the heart, because Saber is a warrior, when you see a warrior cry, that means, you know, you know it's hopeless for them as well. And I, I just, I have no words, you I know in this a finale, you're supposed to think of so many theories, no me, I'm not this speechless, because obviously you're freaking going to see that Ren finally got a date with freaking uh, Emi and I was like that part was so nice and chill I know why they had that part now because then they knew shit would go on in the second part deal The second part was just a brilliant like way to conclude you also the first part was all chill I'm gonna date and shit and you know, I loved freaking the expression on everybody's face They were all having some fun they were enjoying themselves you know all that nice chalada type shit but the second part oh my god yo it was just like yo bam 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 the heart strings were hit you I know it's not the most emotional scene I've ever seen but just to see how Emil just so uses now how he has he is not a master him he's still a mage of course and we also got to see the Emil Kitsurugi was basically you know the guy who's in the last war basically he adopted um Emir, and obviously yeah, that's why he named him Emir. I'm not sure. I think his name was Emir previously. I have no idea about that because I thought Archer was. Well, I'm not gonna see that. Was gonna think because there's season two, and maybe I'm gonna be correct in season two in my theory as well. And that is starting in April, and I'm just like, yes, yo, I cannot wait, yo. If season two is done, is done correctly, yo, this is gonna be my favorite series of all time. It's gonna be. Tired of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, yo, and that show was absolutely just brilliant. I love that show. This show is gonna be amazing. Once uh, UBW, the one broadcasting in April season two finishes, I'm gonna go watch Fate Zero because that was my original plan. I'm going to. I'm also going to watch the Heaven's Fear movie and also review that for you guys. And also, I might watch the Garden of Sinners movie and review every single movie, or maybe do like a whole discussion on each set maybe discussion all of the movies as well and if not we're just filled with freaking epicness yo i just i'm i'm excited for season two i cannot call this review just like call my basic overall thoughts on the entire season one you the animation was absolutely perfect and you photoable you did a good job with animation especially the end where freaking caster went to the church whatever and then after he went to the church at the end where the skeleton guys were coming out the animation is absolutely brilliant. Also, apparently, Cast just said that you know there was a lesser grail and a greater holy grail, whatever. And you know, now obviously the priest was there. You know, he's like he's basically a neutral type of person. He's there. He's always the one who summoned everybody else and told him for the purpose of the war. Caster also captured Fuji Niwara, Fujima Sensei, and obviously put her as a hostage. So that obviously, you know, freaking um, Emiya will be able to basically go, go by her command, whatever. So she's basically blackmailing him by or having a hostage in a way just to obviously do a denial and do her everything. Sorry, I'm not speaking clearly. It just I just cannot comprehend what I just saw. You, I'm mega hype. You, I'm super mega mega ev evolution hype. You. I'm not even sure if that's a word, but I just, you know, man, I just, I'm gonna go watch the original face tonight just so I don't need to wait, but I might watch the original face tonight after, you know, I, I don't have, if I, I feel like I don't have enough fate, I'll just go watch the freaking face tonight 2006, but I might not do that. So overall, freaking Cassius said, you know, that she could basically, you know, unlock the girl right now if she had a lot of mana, whatever. So if she collects everyone's mana, whatever, I think she has the power to basically unlock the whole girl. Well, she's she's a caster, she's able to see the 
inner workings of the grill and she's able to unlock it. It just shows me that she's like she's trying to rule break the rules. She is a rule breaker. That's what Noah Phantasm is rule breaker. And she's just gonna break every single rule and do it. The basic achievement. I feel like Cash is gonna be the main villain for season two because freaking Castro was a brilliant villain. I hate her so much that I love her. You know when you have those villains that you really hate but you just can't not hate and loving them? Like it's a type of love hate of relationship. I feel all too bad for my boy freaking um Shiro and Saber though. They got fucked over. You know so how freaking Rin was at the second part. She was so happy at the first part. Second part she was like you know don't you dare get involved otherwise you're gonna die and you're really powerless and you can't do anything. You're not a master anymore. Your commands is all used up and basically you lost Saber without her also without her like she was freaking what am I saying? Oh, see, this is what happened when I do my first take because it's perfect. It's like a review slash impressions as well because I loved it. If you ask me, all the finale of this the freaking uh, season, you know, the season two is gonna be impressively good. I know it's gonna be the best thing I have seen in the spring season. I know it's gonna be one of, like it's gonna be my hype show for the spring season it's coming on April 2015. 2015 is gonna be an interesting year for anime. I hope so. Also, when freaking uh, Saber apparently stabbed uh, Emil. Because you know, obviously, the command seal that has to use, you know, totally, you know, you have to, you know, kill um, Archer's master, or when he, he saved freaking Rin, and I was like, oh my god, dude, you're too nice, and there's something called you being too nice when you sacrifice almost your own life. But thanks for the vile organs, one hit, and after that, Rin took freaking. Emiya to her obviously her house to heal him and Archer came through to the bounded field. They were in a bounded field when they were all doing the whole battle and events as well. Caster had this plan very perfectly also. Well the most fucked up part was when they went back to the whole freaking Rudo temple or whatever. She freaking like opened freaking uh, Sashin's body. I was like oh my god dude is that your heart in a rib cage? Damn that looked like a steak. Oh my I felt so bad she was like you know I don't need you anymore. I'm gonna move to a better location and she's gonna make her new location at the church whatever because obviously now that she's a master basically she since freaking sabers her servant she obviously has the command skills for herself she can basically you know go to the church where all servants the servants are not allowed to go to the church she basically went there and she's gonna take over the lesser grill you know there are two grills lesser grill and the actual holy grill the greater one so you know and the priest lied obviously about the fact that he does, they, we don't have a grill here but the underground they probably do have a grill where it is hidden but no servant can open it or there always has to be one servant remaining but I have no idea how that's gonna work out. Uh, maybe since Caster is a master herself now, now that she basically owns freaking Sashin and Saber, and she really doesn't need a Sashin, so I think she's going to kill him off. I have no idea what's gonna go on. Make sure, guys, let me know what's gonna go on in the comments from below because you guys have been ultra useful. To let me know where to watch Fate Day series or like you know should I watch Fate Zero first? No, you guys are really useful and I do appreciate it. Be sure to let me know summarize this episode for me where I can understand it. I understood this episode, but at the same time I don't understand this episode. And let me know if Fate Zero somehow links to this finale because I would love to know about Fate Zero. That would just get me more hyped up to watch Fate Zero. So that's basically my review impressions. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought of the finale for Fate Night UBW. Apparently Analyst.co says it's going to be 13 episodes but it's 12 episodes so it's really 12 episodes so now Fate Day and I UBW Season 2 is going to also be 12 episodes. That's going to be a total of 24 episodes or 13 for next season going to be a total of 25 episodes for this series. So be sure to like the video if you guys did enjoy the review. Comment below if you guys saw the episode also help me out. Understand the finale if you can. Subscribe for it. Put your own theories and comments below share the video on twitter facebook instagram whatever and you can actually find the beat that i've been using for the basically the fates and ubw reviews in the description below and i'll see you guys later farewell